you are always supporting every event I go and I see you. You're there with all the motion and I, we really appreciate it. Thanks for, for everything you are doing. What more can we do as a Canadian, as an Iranian Canadian to help to stop killing all these young kids in Iran? First and foremost, on a day like today, we need to stop and pause uh, and stand shoulder to shoulder with the families and the loved ones who lost. We lost 55 Canadians. We lost 30 permanent residents. We lost 85 Canadians, members of our own Canadian family. And we stop and pause and tell them that we are going to do everything in order for them to do justice. It's three years later, and it's unacceptable that they still haven't gotten the justice that anyone deserves in this country. We are going to continue to pressure the government to list the IRGC as the terrorist organization that they are. We are going to call on the government to put their money where their mouth is when it comes to sanctions, when it comes to finding those who are already in Canada and those who are still coming to Canada to intimidate the Iranian-Canadian community in our neighborhoods, here where we stand, where I live, where Michael lives. where. They threaten people, and we know that. And we are going to do everything to call on the government. This is the government's decision, and they have the power to make a big change today. And we call on them on the third anniversary, where there still is no justice served for the families that lost loved ones, to do it today, to list the IRGC. Thank you so much. Yes, you think you're in Canada and it's a country of democracy, but it's still in Canada, so many people, they don't feel safe because of this uh, follower of the regime. That is not the kind of Canada that we want and that people ran away from that regime to get. 